One of the biggest questions I get asked is, Dan, how do I actually make a video game? What are the steps from concept to release that you must take to successfully launch a product to marketplaces such as Steam? Well, in this video, I'm gonna cover just that. Perhaps most obviously, you need to have a unique idea. One that is new and interesting, but not so different that players will be unable to understand the concept. Try and look at other popular games, see what they can improve on, or see where you could add value. For example, if you want to create a city builder, you must ask yourself what will make it stand out from existing games such as City Skylines. Take a look at Townscaper. It's a city builder, but focuses on a relaxing experience with stunning graphics, which are different from anything we've seen before. Thus, it's done extremely well on Steam. Once you've got your idea nailed, you need to establish the style of the game. This is a crucial factor in determining which engine you'll use. The main two engines used in the industry are Unity and Unreal Engine. Unity is best for beginners due to its user-friendly interface and significant community. Unity uses a programming language called C Sharp, which was developed by Microsoft. It's extremely easy to learn and it is beyond possible to have enough knowledge within a few weeks to create a stunning project. Unreal Engine is slightly more complex and primarily uses blueprints. These are a flagship visual programming tool which can make it easier to program games but can also become quite confusing. With Unreal Engine, it's very easy to create stunning graphics, but be sure to have a good computer as it can become quite resource intensive. I use a GTX 1660 Ti with 64 gigabytes of RAM and it runs very smoothly. Keep in mind that there are other engines out there. Consider Godot if you want a lightweight and open source solution to game development. Equally, if you don't want to learn to code and just want to create a simple 2D game, consider GDevelop. Developing the game is going to be the hardest bit. Be sure to utilize all of the tools available to you, such as game engine communities and user manuals. Don't underestimate how helpful generative AI tools such as ChatGPT can be when coding a game. Utilizing such tools will allow you to save time, and in the game development world, time is money. Many people seem to struggle with this phase of game development. How do you launch to Steam? How do you get wish lists? And how do you market your video game? Firstly, remember to get your Steam landing page up as soon as you've got some game visuals. This is because Steam wishlists are vital if you want to get featured on the Steam homepage. Aim to get a minimum of 10,000 wishlists prior to launch. This means that Steam will send an email to 10,000 people letting them know that your game is ready for release. In order to set up the Steam page, head over to Steamworks. You need to pay $100 to Steam Direct and in return you'll get an app ID. You can then customize this as you wish. Keep in mind, you'll need tax information and official documents at hand, but rest assured, you don't need to be a registered business. Keep in mind that Steam takes a whopping 30% of profits. This is considerably higher than other storefronts, such as the Epic Games Store and itch.io. So make sure to keep this in mind when choosing a platform to launch to. This channel covers the indie game dev process for beginners, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below. If you have a specific step which you think all game devs should follow, go ahead and put it down in the comments to help others out. So there you have it, a guide to actually launching your game. I'll see you in the next episode.